Hello guys, um, so in this video I'll be showing you how to make um, little portraits using Pixelab. We'll be, we'll be making um, the little S portrait now. So you select the S, I'm going to be changing the font now to this Nevada. So this is the font now, so I position it. Um, if you are sure of the size, you can lock it, but let's bring our image first. So this is the image I'll be using. So what I do now is position this image. I'm going to position this image and note something, you don't just um, put the image anywhere you want. You've got to be creative with this. All right, take a look at this one and this is the one of half. You see the way it's done? This photo actually fits the, like the way they position the photo. So you see, now this may not necessarily work for another shape. So you've, you've got to go with the one that works best for a particular shape. Now let me show you the last one so we continue our design. So this is the one of letter Z. So you see different concept. I'm going to do it the same way I did um, the thumbnail. So I'm positioning this image in such a way that when I'm going to be masking it, it's going to look, um, going to look um, professional not just masking it anyhow i'm washing this part so that when i max the neck the neck part this part when i max this part it's going to come out well because i'm going to max that part so i'm going to wash what i'm doing here now so so that i place it in such a way that when i max it, it's going to come out well okay all right Okay, so this is what I want. But let's take a look at this. It's not completely covering the shape. It's not gonna come out well, so I've got to increase it and increasing it and now move, move it back to where I want. Okay. Alright, so this is this okay. I'm gonna copy the letter. You use your original color the color you want i'm taking black for this one now so why this one it has to be white the second one you are bringing has to be white so you position it with relative position to so that they will be at the same place now maybe you did not place it at the center for example if this one is here if it's somewhere here so relative position to will not take it there so what you do is use your position to but make sure you have to be careful so that it fits properly so you get you see but it's better if it's at the center so that being said now that i've um place this text here i'll use it as a guide to know where i have to place um where i have to cover with a shape because i'm going to bring a shape now a black uh, i'm going to give it a black color a black feel now i'm going to use it to cover areas i don't want to 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 be seen you get so i'm going to place one here i'm going to place one here okay and then um after placing it i can bring it okay then i'll place another one now um i'm going to place that one here Gonna place that one here. Can reduce it. Place it somewhere here. Okay. And I'll bring it down. Okay. Yeah, I can lock it and then copy another one and then place it. Now this is um what I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is that um. I want this part of the picture to show, so that is why I'm not just going to cover everything. I'm going to wash the hand because I want this hand, this part of the hand to show, so I'm not just going to cover everything. So I'll zoom my work to see it. So I'm just going to place it here. Just going to place it here, and then I'll um, bring it down. Bring it. So down. Just smash the letter and all the the shape the black shape you took 
if it's one shape you merge the one shape and the the um data so the shape doesn't have to be t we can use just one it depends on the one that is required so let's merge them now so i'm going to click on this to merge so i merge them and what i'll do next is go to erase color and i'll click it and enable it so it's going to erase that part so all i have to do is to increase tolerance to 100 to 70 rather so we have to have a, a particular color background color first so let's say i'm taking white so now go to color and then i'll enable the color to the same background so i'm going to use color pick two so I'll pick the color and then we have this so you see pretty easy now we have um, a pretty nice job this was where i was telling you notice now that it fits it it fits the it fits into that particular place so very very important and notice this and part too it's showing properly let's say i want to do something like this you see this one is different from that one so i this time i did not um uh i don't include that part so for like we have added our sh later and then bring in the sh the the um image and then we'll position it where we want so remember what i said you have to wash the way i position it such that we're looking at if i match this thing now will it cut any part of the picture i want to, to be seen you understand so now this one is better so we can work with this just copy this shape and then change the color change the color and then now um, this related position to how we have this you can lock it and then the next step is to bring a um, black fill this one is what we use to cover it i want to cover everything i just have to use one shape i can still use two shape in case any part still in. so um, because of this other part i can't just place it like this it's going to affect this head and i want the head to show so i'm just going to use two so let me use this one first then lock it and then i'm going to bring another one black fill and then copy cover this part this time i'm covering every part i don't want any part to remember i say we are doing something similar i showed you just now so now after i've done this what we have to do now is to match them remember you don't match both the image just the text and the feed black feed so what we do now is to go to erase color and then we erase it increase it increase tolerance and then go to color then take the color the same color you can use speak to rice white so you see this one now we got this now take a look at the head now you see because of the position it actually fits into the shape so that's why it's very important you watch that position when you are positioning your image you don't just position it anyhow so let's let me show you the last one which is um, later a portrait i'm just gonna put this somewhere and um, lock it so we bring our text so this thing is pretty easy bring out the text that is the first thing so i use small letter a there so i'm just gonna adjust it now um adjust it the way i want it to be so i'm change the font i use montserrat black so i'm just gonna adjust this and uh, this what to do next is to bring your image so bring the image bring the image so this is the image now you position it where you want it to be so you position it where you want it to be so that one we have it like this so you lock it first thing to do is to bring to copy this your shape now let me just delete delete this for that black part so you bring in your shape your sorry your text and you use relative position to um, and then you change it to white remember it has to be white not really white but white works well yeah so we lock it and then um now we just bring in the next thing is to bring in um a black shape so so now we just have to cover the part we don't want to be seen so we want to cover this part and 
this part you can just cover everything but if there's a part you want to be seen around that part we, we can't use just one remember i mentioned this so we just we can cover everything like this now so next thing to do is to bring this one down you have to bring it down yes down like this not down like this that's not be but not below the image that's to be on top of the image or below the the white text as it won't work so now the next thing to do is to match to match um, this and this so match this and then we go to erase color erase. notice i did not match the i not had the first letter you don't have the first letter and the image so you can do this why I don't have the first letter so I can be able to change the color if I want to but if you had the first letter it doesn't really matter but you wouldn't be able to change the color but this way you can change. now the next thing to do is to change this color now so select the same background color that would be the background color and you see we have this so it's very easy it's very easy so once you are done you can um if you say you want to match everything but now you won't be able to adjust it or change it you can have this but look at something now if i change the color now we still be having this um, stuff so what to do is to still go and take the same okay this won't work since we have merged it so what you do is to come to erase so um, to come to erase color and um, select this white so very easy so that is it so kindly subscribe if you find this video helpful and give it a thumbs up